Hey, this is Dan from A10 Labs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to hack an XP machine from an iPod Touch. Uh, you can see that I'm issuing a uname command to display the kernel information, uh, and unsuccessfully trying to ping my destination host. Um, I'm actually running screen on the iPod Touch so that I can do the typing from a real keyboard, because typing on the uh, iPod keyboard would just be horrendous. So uh, we can see we have connectivity, but uh, I can't ping my host. I realized that I needed to turn port protected off on my Cisco so wireless devices could talk to each other. Uh, something to take into account. You have to make sure that uh, your attack machine can talk to your victim. So I turned it off. And should be able to ping the host now. So we can successfully wirelessly communicate with the victim machine. And we can go both ways. Very good. So uh, when you start MSF console, it takes literally like 10 minutes. So I've snipped out that 10 minute wait of the video. So this is going to look like it goes quick, but it's really not quick. So prepare yourself for a wait if you're going to try this at home. So here we have Metasploit loaded up, and I'm going to be using the MS-08067 uh, SMB exploit on an unpatched XP Service Pack 2 host that's running in VMware Fusion to drop to a administrative shell. So uh, another gotcha that you have to remember if you're doing this is that when you use tab completion inside of Metasploit on the iPod Touch, it takes forever uh, the first time you do it. So this bit right here, again, I, I snipped it out, um, but it took five or so minutes for the tab completion to actually finish. So Ruby running on this tiny processor isn't so hot, but uh, we can see here for a moment, I, uh, I fail a couple of times. This is our example of what not to do and uh, incorrect syntax inside of Metasploit. Oopsie. So I'm using the pilot, uh, payload of a standard bind shell on port 4444, um, you can see that I have my remote target specified and the remote port specified. And uh, here's the exploit running. This takes a little bit longer than what one would expect. Um, a couple of minutes. I, I didn't cut this down any. This is the raw uh, time that it took for this exploit to complete. So it's detected the remote host, it's triggering the vulnerability, and I now have an administrative shell from an iPod Touch on the XP machine. I run calculator a couple of times so you can see that in the background the uh, task manager gets a number of calculator processes that spawn. So we can see that we can successfully uh, fail to reboot the machine and uh, then successfully Google how to command line reboot an XP system. Here's just a, another demonstration that yes, we really do have a administrative shell on this XP box and we can run whatever we damn well please. Well, apparently the old 95 pinball isn't installed and CLS doesn't work on a non-interactive shell. So 
a quick Google shows us the exact syntax. Shutdown dash R dash T01. It should reboot the machine. So we simply go back to our shell. We enter the reboot command and we can watch the XP, XP box shut down. The next time you bring your iPod touch to work, I hope you enjoy.